What's that, I hear you say? Artie, weren't you finished with this Let's Play over a year ago? Didn't we just finish the game after this? Well, yes and yes, you are correct. Hey everybody, I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1. This time, it's Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This is the PS3 re-release, uh, and it's a lot better, and the reason I'm coming back to this is because there were a few things from Kingdom Hearts 1 that I never actually did. Number one was... I didn't do all of the Olympus Coliseum tournament cups, the two extra times, one where you were just Sora and one where you are just Sora and have a time limit. I'm going to go back and do the ones with just Sora and a time limit, since just showing off the just Sora ones would be kind of redundant if I'm also doing the time limit. Also, the HD re-release on the PS3 added a lot more stuff. They added new keyblades, they added new abilities, a few new cutscenes, and, most importantly, a new bonus boss that I have never played before and I want to show off, because I think that's going to be a great lead-in to the Kingdom Hearts 2 when I eventually do it. However, before we do that, we've got to do the Olympus Coliseum stuff. I mean, we don't have to, but I want to. And it's a great opportunity to show off just how st much stuff has changed in the Final Mix version. So, right off the bat, I'm max level. Level 100, and I'll be honest, I did not even really plan on getting to level 100. But the reason I am is simply because grinding for the Ultima Weapon in Final Mix takes a lot longer than it does in the original version. And you know how long I spent in the original version grinding for it. I literally got to like level 94 or 95 just by getting all the synthesis stuff. So only a few more level ups had to be happen in order to reach max level. So I thought, why the heck not? So if we go to the equipments, we still have the Ultima Weapon, but we also have new stuff. So Kingdom Key, Jungle Keen... All of this stuff you remember from the first game. A few things have changed, though. For example, Divine Rose changed a lot. Instead of being just kind of good in the first game, this is like one of the best Keyblades. It has almost as much power as the Ultima Weapon, and its crit rate and crit power are through the roof. So you can literally... This is actually the most powerful Keyblade in the game. It deals more damage than the Ultima Weapon, in my personal opinion. It has one less strength, but because of its absurdly high crit rating and its incredibly powerful crit... Uh, criticals in itself. It's really, really good. Oblivion, I feel like they made less powerful. Then we also have the Diamond Dust Keyblade. This, in Final Mix, you get when you defeat the Ice Titan. It gives you the biggest boost of MP out of all of them, even more than the Ultima Weapon. It gives you plus three, but its strength is not terribly great. Then we also have One Winged Angel. You get this for defeating Sephiroth. And, uh, only in the Final Mix version, though. And I am not impressed with this one. It has good range, and it has really powerful critical blows, but it reduces your MP by 2, and is not even all that powerful. So I'm sticking with the Ultima Weapon. It's just kind of the best there is. And I worked hard to get it, dang it, so I want it. I also have Sora ha equipping the Crystal Crown. Boosts a lot of stuff. The Omega Arts, which you get from Behemoth. And then Cosmic Arts, which is a nice bracelet. Boosts your HP, MP, and AP. So that's pretty nice. Donald Duck currently has Save the Queen equipped. It gives him a plus two MP boost, and it's the, like one of the most powerful stabs in the game. There's also Fantistia, which has less strength, but more magic. I might switch it to that. I don't know yet. I also have given the Royal Crown, which gives him a big boost of MP, and then the Atlas Armor, which also gives him a big boost of MP. Donald, I want to have a lot of MP. Now, Goofy currently has seven elements, which is not very powerful as a shield. It gives him plus three MP, which is incredibly good for Goofy. He also has Ray of Light. Omega Arts, Free Stars, and then the Moogle Badge. So yeah, we also have new abilities. So the first off, I'm playing on Proud Mode, which is basically the Expert version uh, version if, for the final mix. It's actually tougher than Expert, though, and it gives you access to this ability, which prevents you from getting experience. You can play through the whole game at level 1. I'm not a sadist, I did not do that. We also have Slapshot as a new ability, which basically turns one of your hits into your combo. Or, depending on how long your combo is, more like every other hit, into a really quick, really powerful hit. Which is pretty nice. Tech Boost is another ability which gives you double the experience points when you parry enemy attacks. That's pretty nice. We also have a bunch of the different slates from Chain of Memories in the Final Mix version. Stun Impact, which makes your finishers have a 30% chance of stunning nearby enemies, but it's incredibly weak in terms of strength, so I don't have that equipped. Other things we add, Sliding Dash, which if we're, there's a faraway enemy that we're locked onto, we can slide quickly over to them. That's pretty cool. We have more tech boosts, Critical Plus. Hurricane Blast is really nice. It makes your aerial finishers incredibly powerful. I like that. Combo Master is probably the best new ability they added, where you can deliver your full-on combo even if you uh, miss a few hits in the combo, which was really annoying that you couldn't do that in the original version, but this ability makes it really nice. 
And Counter Plus, you get this from the Moogle shop, and it makes Synthesis Grinding a lot more manageable, where it basically means as soon as you leave a room, the enemies will respawn when you go back. So it makes it nice for that. We also have a bunch of Combo Pluses and Air Combo Pluses. We have Ripple Drive, which is another finisher. It's kind of like Stun Impact, but instead of stunning enemies, it just deals a lot of damage, and it's proportional to your MP value. Zantasukin, we got this for defeating Kurt Ziza, the Sword Heartless, in Final Mix. This is a very powerful finisher that can just insta-kill common enemies. Pretty nice, and it looks pretty cool. And then besides that, we have Aerial Sweep, which is just an aerial hit. It's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. So you can see how my ability setup. Donald and Goofy don't have any new abilities, and there are no new shared abilities. So sorry about that. Also, I feel like they made magic in the game a little better. And my item setup, I just have Sora equipped with a bunch of Aethers, and enough dawdling, let's actually do this thing. So we're going back to the Olympus Coliseum, we're starting with the Fill Cup, and we're going to set a time limit. And if you beat each of these cups with the time limit, and this is just going to be Sora, then we get a special reward for each of them. And after I do that, the only thing I'll have left... Oh! Hey, Donald and Goofy are with me! Oh, I didn't realize that, that would happen. Well... As you can see, I can basically just one-hit KO everything, which is pretty awesome. I did not think Donald and Goofy would be coming along, actually. Monkey and magic! Okay, well this, <laughs> this is going to be incredibly easy. With Vortex, I can do this sweeping blade motion and just it's to kill pretty much everything. And because I'm max level with the best Keyblade and a bunch of strength, I can literally one-hit KO, like, every enemy in the game. This is great. I also only have three minutes to do this, so... <laughs> maybe it's a good thing Donald and Goofy are coming along. Trust me, you really didn't miss anything me doing it as just Sora. It was... everything was a cinch. Because I'm max level. As you can see, even though I'm whiffing the hits, I can still... Uh, full finish my combos. And also, you'll notice that a lot of my hits are really quick. Those are the slap shots. So yeah, you can see the con all, all in all, this is way better than re regular Kingdom Hearts 2. If you have a cho- or regular Kingdom Hearts 1, my bad. If you have a choice between playing the PS2 uh, version of Kingdom Hearts 1 or this version, play this version, hands down. The synthesis grinding is incredibly annoying, but the combat system is just so much better. It's also in HD and has remastered music, which is pretty awesome. I didn't think it possible for me to love the Neverland battle music more than I do, but it's possible. Oh, thank you, Donald. Donald just used Fundagata to insta-kill, like, everything. Oh, dang, that ultimate weapon looks so nice. It looks even nicer in Kingdom Hearts 2, though. Gauntlets, please. And ult ultimately, Proud Mode is definitely harder than Expert Mode. Like, the Guard Armor, the first boss. Like, I died to him like 50 times, no joke. But after that, it was pretty manageable. I did not die to Clayton like 100 times like I did in my actual Let's Play. Alright, kill the Green Requiems first. Also, this means if people played, uh, watch my Chain of Memories Let's Play, but not my original Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, maybe this will show you what it was like, and you'll want to watch that as well. Or play it yourself, that's even better. If you have a PS3, it's totally manageable to get. Alright, we only have two battles left, and we have... We've not even used a minute! This is great, because it doesn't count time down after the last enemy is destroyed, even though there's the time after that. We have to wait for them to do their victory dance. Good, good programming. A+. Plus. Alright, so Fill Cup is pretty darn simple. Honestly, the first three cups are all really darn simple. Look at how much damage I was doing to that guy. Oh, also the best thing they did, so you can see the command menu, the summon is now at the bottom. You now just push triangle if you want. If you like if you want to do the special moves, you literally just push triangle. And hey, as a result, I got a new ability. That's pretty nice. Oh, I know, maybe it's Never mind. Now I can choose an opponent and just do any one I want. Alright, well, if we're gonna have Donald and Goofy with us, I'm removing their items. Because I was I just had that ready for the bonus boss. Ah, 
Actually, you know what? No, they can keep those. I have a ton of Eefers and a ton of High Potions. I have 88 High Potions just in my stock. I will, however, modify their abilities a little bit. So Donald basically has everything except his Treasure Magnet and Lucky Strike and Jackpot. So that's good. Goofy has a lot of spare MP he can use, but the thing is... I generally only want him to use MP Gift as his special. Oh, it only costs 1 MP for him to use? I thought it costed 2 MP for him to use. Never mind, that's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just actually keep that. Because I normally would equip Tornado, but we don't need it. Because these cups are incredibly simple. Alright, let's do the Pegasus Cup time limit. Leon and Yuffie might give us, like, a tiny bit of a struggle. Not really, though, because we're so good. Level 100 kind of breaks the game. We still only have three minutes, but we have finished with more than two minutes on the fill cup. I'm not worried. The only one I'm worried about for the time limit is the Hades cup, because of how long it is. And it has some giant waves of Heartless that can be invincible if they want to. Marauders. Yeah, we got another tech boost, so that actually would have been helpful to get earlier before I reached max level. But, what can you do? Thank you, Donald. Donald's just thunder guying the heck out of them. And you can see Donald has way more MP than anybody else. And that's thanks to just all of the equipment I gave him, which all boosts his MP by two, I believe. Right, take out the fat guys. The barrel spiders will blow themselves up. Oh, thank you. My partners are actually kind of helping me out. I still don't feel bad about not showing the Sora alone things, though. Because it was literally exactly what I'm doing. Like, my partners are not really helping me out all that much. Because remember, I can use fun to God, too. If I want. Yeah, you can see I, I had the Ar Ars Arcanum appear at my triangle command and not at the bottom of the screen, which is, a, that's the biggest thing that they did that's really nice. So instead of having to, like, move down here to open chests or do stuff, you literally just push triangle. And that's what they do in Kingdom Hearts 2. And it also makes calling summons easier, except, guess what, we can't use summons in the Coliseum. <laughs> Don't use Blizzard against the ghosts, that doesn't one-shot them. Thank you, Goofy. Super Glide! Nothing to it. The graphics just look so nice. Oh, bother. Okay, this could be annoying. I used Aroga because every single hit you do to them deals the same amount of damage, and Aroga will just rapidly damage them. Blech. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of lure them both right next to each other, so when they turn out of their stone form, I'll be able to hit them both at the same time, I feel. So here's one where my partners actually are kind of helping me out. Oh, come on! He has like 1 HP left. Okay, this is going to be the big time waster then. I probably should have used, like, Fun to God to hit them a bunch. Well, yeah, that wasted, like, half the time. We gotta be on our A-game, then. I need to use Fun to God. Fun to God can just, like, one-hit one hit kill every enemy, basically. I think this would be a fine time to use it. <laughs> oh, you jerk. He was just out of view. I have a bunch of MP, too, and Goofy has MP gift, so I shouldn't be worried about using MP. Oh, never mind. We're at the second to last battle, anyways. Here. Donald and I had the exact same idea. We both used fun to God, and so everyone died. And then Goofy takes the credit, even though he did literally nothing that round. Alright, Leon and Yuffie. Get rid of Yuffie first, then Leon. Because Yuffie can heal. So if I use a Ruga, she literally can't, like, hurt me. 
because all Aeroga just auto reflects everything she puts at us. <laughs> so yeah, this is counter attack mixed with slap shot, and that was Xantasukin. All right, that's Yuffie gone. Love slap shot, and also these combo pluses allow me to slap shot them a bunch, which is great. Also, because Slapshot has a chance of doing a critical, things like Divine Rose and Wishing Star are a lot better in this game. Alright, bye Leon. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, that would have been nice to get. Oh, that's a huge slap in the face. I grinded for so long to get a all those Dark Matters I needed. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, I should have done these earlier. Dog on it. Alright, Hercules. Like, Dark Matter is the most annoying thing to synthesize in the entire game, because you need a bunch of Mithril. Mithril itself is also annoying to synthesize, because you need a bunch of Mithril Shards, which are, like, one of the rarest drops. I had to kill, like, 10,000 Pot Spiders in order to get the, all that. So, I, I, playing for this game again, I learned, like... Wow, magic in this game is actually really, really good. Like, I don't know what they did to gravity, but gravity is a lot nicer in this. At least against certain enemies. I like this strategy. Just thunder everything. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. I just use thunder. Yeah, this makes it go by real fast. Okay, for the buccaneers, I'm just gonna beat up the pirate ship. Thank you, Combo Master. You are wonderful. Yeah, but I learned gravity is actually decent, because it, like, for boss, for not quite bosses, but, like, common enemies with a bunch of HP, it, like, destroys their HP. Stop is actually pretty useful as well for a lot of these special enemies in the game. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Goofy, you didn't do anything, but all right. Take credit for my hard work, sure. The Mad Truffle, yeah. Well, this guy will be easy. Goodbye. You can get a lot of experience and, like, items off of that guy if you, like, keep him up in the air a bunch. It's not worth it in the Coliseum, though, especially under a time limit. Oh boy, it's Cloud. I've been waiting for this one. This the Cloud is, like, hilarious when you're max level in Final Mix. Because you can basically just walk onto him, mash the X button, and you're gonna, like, beat him. And he can't really damage you all that easily. Because I, I basically keep parrying his attacks, then using the counter attack. And it deals, like, a ton of damage. Okay, this is, this is the one exception. When he flies around and he's invincible. Oh yeah, that, that aerial finisher, which is like the spin around, that's Hurricane Blast. It's so good. Not that one, but the one where you spin vertically. It's so powerful and hits so many enemies. Yeah, they just really improved the combat system. It's still really simple, but you can do a lot more. Wait a second. These are common enemies. Oh, there has to be the one who avoids it. I love the look of Save the Queen. That's a really cool looking staff. Yar, we beat a flying pirates, matey. Yeah, you saw like the tech bonus I got for like reflecting his attack. If I had all my tech bonuses equipped, I would get like at this point octuple the experience I would get, or maybe even like 16 times the amount. All right, time for Hercules. This is the only one that I'm kind of worried about because it takes a while. Wind. All right. Hey, you yet? I don't know, Hercules. Are you pumped yet? Arsarcanum. Just because it'll quickly get rid of a lot of his HP. Pick it up. Oh, great. Not his sword move. 
it's gonna destroy all the barrels! <laughs> no, Hercules? Oh no, I, I wanted to use Arcanum, not Strike Raid. That's bad. That's actually really bad. Strike Raid is nice because it gives you, like, you, you're completely invincible while you're doing it. But it's not good against bosses. Really. And that was Zantasukan, but obviously doesn't work as well on Hercules, because he's a boss. There we go. 52 seconds remaining. Nice. If I get, like, a really good synthesis material, it's gonna be annoying. Gravity Break? That sounds like an interesting ability. I wonder what that's all about. I must check it out. Gravity Break has a 30% chance of unleashing a gravity-based finishing combo that deals damage equal to the percent of a target's HP. As cool as that sounds, I am not going to equip that, because chances are that will deal less damage on average than my other finishers. Alright, time for the real thing everyone's been looking forward to. Hades Cup time limit. Oh boy. Well, we, we better get more than three minutes for this. 20 minutes, okay. Considering how many waves there are and how long these waves are gonna take, yeah, that's that's understandable. I'm not worried about using a bunch of MP because Donald's filled with Eevers, I'm filled with Eevers, and Goofy has MP gift as his only MP consuming move. And plus Donald also has Thunder that he can use. That sliding dash that I just did. The problem is because there's a mall in startup, it can be you can miss quite frequently. Yes, take you can take credit for that one, Donald. That was pretty much all you with your nice placed funda goddess. Donald does eat through his MP really quickly. Terrible feet. More like a terrible defeat when I beat you. Yeah! <laughs> Level 100, baby! <laughs> My one complaint with Final Mix is they didn't allow you to just skip the summon openings when you summon a summon. So, like, it still takes a long time for the, like, the cutscene of you calling the summon to, to play. Oh, there's always the one spider that avoids the fun to get somehow. Mad Truffle. Oh, wait, right, this'll be fast. Here. I don't know why I did that. I'm just like, gotta hit him as fast as possible. It's like, oh, well, Artie, you just... You just wasted a thing of MP. Which is gonna be more valuable than you think. Oh, hey, Yuffie. Come and get it. I will. <laughs> no, this is gonna hurt you, Yuffie. <laughs> I love all my abilities. Counterattack, slap shot, and the combo pluses. All together make you really, really good. I was skeptical to put the combo pluses on because that means you don't hit your finishers as often. But honestly, with at level 100, your common attacks are basically as powerful as finishers. Oh, that didn't hit everybody. I remember when pirates used to give me a tough time. Nothing to it. But now I can just kill him instantly. The dock garrison. Alright, I'm getting rid of that defender. Defenders used to be super annoying, now I can kill them in two hits. And honestly, now defenders, I'm like, oh, these guys are really easy. Because they're slow. Whereas the other guys can kind of jump and fly around a bit, and it can be hard to hit them. The Bad Union. What I'm worried about is the first boss uh, against Behemoth, because that could take a while. Thank hopefully Donald and Goof or Donald maybe will be like gravity! Because gra Behemoth is one of those enemies that gravity is really, really, really useful against. Because it's not technically a boss, it's technically just a common enemy with a ridiculously high amount of HP. 
because bosses tend to have like this special ability where it's like, oh, gravity is not going to damage them a whole lot. Also, in case you couldn't tell, Final Mix changed the way all the Heartless look. I don't know why they did that. They just did. Wow, that's strong opening move, Behemoth. Yes, Donald. Okay, yeah, that one gravity took out almost an entire HP bomb. Of course, the less HP he get, the less HP he has, the less damage gravity does. Nice. I'm just gonna get on his back for the entire round because then I'll like always be able to hit his horn. It's generally when you're on his back, it's like, oh, he lowers his horn, gotta go down, then as soon as you go down with me, he's like, oh, he made his horn go higher. Even with high jump, it can be tough. Pretty good at dodge rolling that now. Okay, cool. I was worried that that would take a while. Also, one nice thing that Final Mix added, uh, bracelets that increase the amount of experience you gain. That's really nice. So that's, I equipped those on Goofy while I was doing the synthesis grinding, so that's part of the reason why I got that much stuff. But I didn't go out of my way to be like, oh, I'm grinding a bunch of these EXP gaining items. No, I just grinded. I just got the ones that were available, so there are three of the types of them in the game. It's like the EXP ring, the EXP earring, and the EXP bracelet. I got just one of each and put them all on Goofy. Because as long as you have the person with the experience boosting items in your party, everybody gets more experience. Here. Mm, I'm kind of running low on MP, but here's the thing. If Goofy uses MP gift on me, then that's good. Oh, guard armor. That was really annoying at the beginning of the game. Like, almost impossible at the beginning of the game. But now, he's a cinch. Like, I can't stress to you how hard the guard armor was at the beginning of the game. Really, really tough. This should help. I don't want to lose a whole lot of HP. And Kiraga does not even come close to healing all the HP you have. Mad... Oh, okay. Here's the feign. There are a bunch of green Requiems. Okay, and Sword just auto-locked onto them. Okay. How did I whiff, like, every single time? No! Black mushrooms are the worst enemies to face in the arena. Also, I feel like Donald and Goofy are even worse with other items in this, because they literally like will refuse to use them on you. Like, when I was fighting the guard armor and they had like the only items, basically, they would not use them on me. They would only use them on each other, which is stupid. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I have, like, literally no HP. It's like, oh, Donald's missing 2 HP! Donald! I'm still, I'm still kind of mad about that. Nothing to it. Oh boy, stealth sneak time. And I can't use Fundaga because Green Requiem's getting kind of Actually, my magic in general. Take that Stealth Sneak. Here's the thing, the Stealth Sneak, like, once you get him to 1 HP, you still have to hit him a ridiculous amount before he actually dies. Like, look at this! Like, that's ridiculous. I probably took out three times the amount of HP he actually had before he would actually go down. And I don't know why that is. Oh well. Ha, ha, ha. 
Wizards are the worst. Because wizards, it's like, you hit them, it's like, oh no, you didn't hit them, because two seconds later they're gonna use their teleportation the power move. The and they love spamming their teleportation move, and it just takes a long time to beat them. Oh boy, speak of the devils. And they, even at max level, they still take two hits to kill. Yeah, like, I hit him, and he was not using his teleportation move, but he technically was. It irks me so much. It's the Mystic Mages! I don't care if there's an Angel Star present, I'm taking out those wizards first. Oh, and that Thunder move they can do, which makes them invincible for several seconds. Like, literally nothing to do to damage them. Goofy must have been give, must be using like, all his MP gifts to give stuff to Donald. That's a bit annoying. Oh, Cerberus time. I must say, this second set of ten has been taking a lot longer. So let's try to get rid of Cerberus as fast as possible. <laughs> Screw the strategy I did earlier in the run. My first time where I'm like, hit him a few times, then just run like that. Nope. I'm hacking and slashing. I can't afford to do that now. No. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm all about the speed on this one. But I'm also not going to be stupid and use a bunch of arsenal games. I love that slow motion thing that happens at the end. The Sky Raiders. I gotta pick up the pace. <laughs> Because the real slow fights have still are still yet to come. It's gonna be Hades and a bunch of these like infinite waves of artless that are gonna take a while. Well, not infinite waves, but like Shadow Storm, where like there's like a hundred shadows that have gradually spawn. Like. All right, we killed all the search ghosts before they could do their teleportation. We did do it, Goofy. Well done. I love a Goofy shield. It's like ten shields glued together. It's kind of funny. Didn't we already fight the Terrible Fists in the Phil Cup, but without these gargoyles? Good job. That's the power of the Keyblade. Oh, yep, Shadow Storm. Here we go. This fight can be really obnoxious, depending on how the shadows behave. They stay underground for a long time. That. Alright. Eat it, Shadow Storm. Once we get to the Dark Ball Storm, the Mixed Storm, and then, like, the Invisible Storm. Oh, those are gonna be annoying. <laughs> the Avengers. I don't see why people like the Avengers movies. It's just about all these weird heartless guys. Nothing to it. The Dark Knights. Oh, opposite armor. Yeah, you can see opposite armor is now kind of American, isn't he? His color scheme, anyways. Also, I've killed so many Dark Balls throughout the course of this game. For the synthesis grinding, mainly. Apparently asking Donald and Goofy to get rid of the Dark Balls was too much for him. Because much like the Shadows, the Dark Balls can just be such a pain by always being this Goodbye, opposite armor.
the back flap. Thunder. Oh, thank you, Goofy. Yeah, Goofy just used MP gift on me. And Donald, yes, Donald gave Goofy more MP so he can use more MP gifts, which ultimately will give more MP in the long run. That's what I was hoping would happen. Because I think I have Donald like, set to use items only in emergency and Goofy set to use MP gift like all the time. So it's like, oh, you're missing a little bit of MP? I'll use MP gift. Unfortunately, that means he's using it on Donald all the time. But hey, Donald's actually being helpful by using Fundaga quite a bit, so... I can't really complain with that now, can I? We're also definitely ahead of time. We had 20 minutes. We're more than halfway through the cup at this point, at least in terms of battles, and we still have, well, more than half the time. No, stupid dark ball. The evil onions are the worst. Goofy. Nothing to it. Actually, I probably should leave the healing up to Donald. Oh, yeah! Okay, Cloud and Leon. It really doesn't matter which order you take them out in, at least at this level. I'm going after Leon first. The thing is, focus on one and only one until he's dead, and then focus on the other. Otherwise, they're both going to be stuck in, like, their desperation moves where they're just attacking all the time. Yep, like this. So yeah, <laughs> combat system at max level is pretty great. Alright, Cloud, your turn to die. Donald's probably eaten through a lot of his at this point. Thank you, Goofy. So now I'm just using well-timed guards to... Well, <laughs> they were supposed to be well-timed guards. Yeah, you can't beat me with my counter-attack movies. Oh, I almost killed him with his Antisukin. That would have been pretty cool. Again, you can't kill bosses or, like, strong enemies with Antisukin. So at this point in the game, Santasukin's actually not that great, but it is still like a pretty powerful finisher. Also, if you hear that meowing, that is one of my family's cat in the background. He's upset I've shut the door to this room. Ah, well done. They took out the small enemies, I took out the large bodies. I don't know why they changed the color of, like, every Heartless, but, well, almost every Heartless. Seems like a cosmetic difference that doesn't really matter all that much. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. I actually feel like this is my my setup's really good. By having Goofy only use MP Gift, that's actually really nice, because Goofy's other special moves are really not that useful. MP Gift is really useful. Wyverns can be a bit annoying. I always call them Dragoons, but that's their, that's not their name. They're Wyverns, because Dragoons are an enemy in Kingdom Hearts 2 that are very different. Yeah, those guys who can kick you, that fly around, they are Wyverns. Oh boy, Dark Ball Storm. Which actually might be quicker and easier at this point than Shadow Storm. Because I can still one-shot them like I can with Shadows. And they tend to not be invulnerable as long as Shadows are. Oh, and Goofy can one-shot them as well. I don't think Fundaga one-shots them. And I really don't want to find out. I'm pretty sure Fundaga leaves them with like a tiny little bit of HP, which is just annoying. We are just ripping through the Hades Cup, though. This is nice. 
I love just being able to use one fun to god to reach victory. And because Donald Goofy are in my party, I don't run out of MP nearly as quickly as I normally do. Oh boy, invisibles. We want to take them out as fast as possible. Because they can stay inv invincible for an incredibly long period of time if they want to. And they are! Great. Well, might as well kill the wizard then. Of course the wizard would use that move. Of course he would. Why the heck would he not? Oh, shoot. Goofy didn't use MP gift on me. He used a high potion. Whoops. I forgot he had those. The heavy warriors. So actually, large bodies are now the most annoying of the fat guys, because you hit them once, and they're like, oh, oh, and like, you can't hit them the second time really quickly. Actually, the defenders might be the easiest fat guy to deal with now, <laughs> because they generally don't turn around that much. At least in this. In Chain of Memories, it's an entirely different story. Okay, well, yeah, we have tons of time for the Hades Cup. This is great. Yeah. Goofy. Oh boy, the Elder Force. All right, got to get rid of those invisibles. Angel stars are not that annoying. That sword move they do, though, is so freaking annoying. It gives them, like, ten seconds of invincibility. Thank you, Donald. Yeah, I'm glad I gave Donald the physically strong staff as opposed to just the pure magically powerful staff. Oh, it's Hades. Yeah! Hades is fun, now that I'm really high level. Also, Hades has one of the highest HPs of anyone in the game. I think only Sephiroth has the same amount. Right. This move, you don't even have to roll under, you just have to follow the flames. Hey, so this fight has phases. This first phase is really slow because it uses that inv invincible flame move a lot. And then in the second phase, he's just really aggressive. But with our stats, that's not a good deal. This just means that, like, Donald's gonna use all of his items, and Goofy's probably gonna use all his items. I am having fun, Hades. This is a very fun game. Oh, also my other gripe with Final Mix is they didn't fix how terrible the platform is. I think we're in the next phase now. Never mind. Okay, yeah, now we're in the second phase. Now he's gonna chuck meteors at us instead. Never mind! Okay. Maybe just for when I did him as just Sora, I got near the block with his moves. He did. Never mind. Get, get back here, Hades! Man, Hades with like no HP like refused to let me hit him, so I had to use Thunder. Alright. <laughs> Slightly less than 10 minutes for the last uh, 10. I hope we can beat it, because there are a couple of really long battles. Not moves! <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Wait. Oh. Wow, that guy can teleport. I forgot about that. Heal. Nothing to it. Ultima Weapon is one of the few Keyblades that actually looks like it would hurt if it hit you. Most of the others are like, oh, it's, it doesn't have any, like, sharp parts. Ha! 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 
Oh uh, yes, stealth sneaks and invisibles. Bad combination. Alright, so we wait for him to turn visible, then we kill the last in invisible. And now hopefully we can get rid of this bugger before... Yeah, like, why am I not killing him? There we go. Nah. I like chameleons, but the stealth sneak looks weird. Black with orange eyes is usually a creepy combo. Oh yay, this will be easy. <laughs> Quickest way to get rid of them. Just immediately use Thunder before they can even give you a symbol of what they want. Also, I guess I should mention, I did pick the defensive priority again. Even though, like, I'm like, oh, I probably should have picked the staff priority. Even though second chance you don't get to, like, the very end, you get an extra MP, which makes a big difference in the final mix. You also learn MP Rage a lot earlier. I didn't learn MP Rage till I was level 90. And then I learned just the second one at a well, max level. Uh, yeah, this, this is one of those annoying waves. Oh, that was the final wave of them. Okay. No, not bad at all, Goofy. Yep, Twin Mirage. Here we go. Alright, while that one is using his attack, I'm gonna beat up this guy. Oh, apparently I killed the other one while hitting this guy. That's weird. Cool. Little over six minutes, and we have only a few battles left, but unfortunately two of them are like the Dark Ball Storm. Yep, Shadow Troopers, this is the first one. We have a bunch of waves of Annoying Heartless. This is the worst wave of them all. Thank you, Goofy. Ah, uh, yep. Whenever there's one wizard left, he always teleports. Actually, I think the wizard just always teleports, no matter what. Nothing to it. But that's okay, wizard. Guess what? I've got time. Quite literally. Okay, we have two battles left. This one and then the Rock Titan. And the Rock Titan takes a while because of just like, how much HP he has, but he's a cinch. Oh, okay. Kill the invisible. No, don't lock onto the Dark Ball, you lack wit. Oh, 
Come on, just hit this guy already. Thank you. There we go, cool. On to the Rock Titan. He will be super fun because of just how rapidly we can hit him with our Keyblade. I'm also glad we get to hear this music. Look at all the tech points. Yeah, if we had all our tech points equipped, I think we'd be getting eight tech points. Which is pretty nice. I'm not even going to use our circuit. I don't need to. We just took out two bars of his HP. Like, three bars of his HP in ten seconds. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Oh, yeah. We did it. <laughs> Goofy obtained Save the King. Yeah. That's what I was wanting. That's the whole reason I did this, really, is because that's Goofy's best weapon. And I got a trophy, the Master Defender. That means I got all of Goofy's shields. Alright, we've got Save the King, a royally powerful shield, raises max MP by 2. So that's one less MP than he gets from 7 elements, but he also gets a lot of strength for doing that. So I'm going to do that. Plus it looks really cool. Oh, look at that. We're the baddest. We're the baddest. Alright, so that was all the Colosseum Cups. Now, the only things I have left to do in this game are getting all the gummy print blueprints, getting all... Or completing all the gummy ship missions, and then defeating the final bonus boss. Now, oh, and I also could try to get the high scores on all the mini games. I'm not going to do the mini games because that gives you nothing. I'm not going to get the gummy ship print blueprints because I ha already have the best gummy ship in the whole world. And beating the gummy ship missions only gives you decorative gummy pieces, which I don't care about. So I'm just going to take on the bonus boss, and really that's just for plot purposes. And I want to fight him because I've heard he's incredibly, incredibly tough. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm pretty confident in my abilities in Kingdom Hearts 1. Anyhow, look forward to that episode. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.